So we, with what we've learned in the previous video, these very questions will be solved right now. What is the Laplace transform of t multiplied by sine 2t? Now please take note, the first thing you are concerned with here is what is the Laplace transform of sine 2t? So that means number one, I am concerned with getting my f of s and my f of s is what? The Laplace transform of sine 2t. So what would this give to me? This would be giving me what? 2 over s squared plus what? 4. That is what this would be giving to me. 2 over s squared plus 4. Now, the next would then become, since I just have t multiplying, since I just have t multiplying, it means the Laplace transform of t sine 2t is going to be equal to minus d over ds of what is f of x after we're done solving f of s is what 2 over s squared plus 4 so this is the result that we have now if we can evaluate this very expression we'll get our final answer so this will then become minus the first thing you would know here is we're actually going to be using quotient rule here so it means this is u all over v so my u is 2 my v is what s squared plus 4 so u is equal to 2, v is equal to s squared plus 4. So what is u again? I'm going to say u prime is going to be 0, then v prime is going to be what? 2s. It's normal differentiation. Okay, so this will then be equal to, we have minus, I'm going to write minus first of all, then bracket. Now let us differentiate this expression with respect to what? S. Remember that in quotient rule, V comes first. So this will become S squared plus 4 bracket. What is U prime? 0. Then minus. This is 2 bracket. What is V prime? 2S. Then divided by V squared. And V is S squared plus 4. Then you say R squared. Close this whole bracket. So this will then become minus, so we have a minus bracket, 0 times anything is 0. So this is 0 minus 2 times 2s is 4s divided by s squared plus 4 all squared. Now this part, 0 minus 4s will give you minus 4s. Minus 4s times this minus here will give you just 4s divided by s squared plus 4. Or squared. So this is the result if you are asked to what? Find the Laplace transform of t sine 2t. So that's what we have. Now next question. Next question number two says what is the Laplace transform of t cos 3t? The first thing I'm going to do here is to find f of s. So f of s here, f of s is going to become the Laplace transform of what? Cos 3t. Because this t, the use of this t comes in after finding your f of s. So f of s is going to become the Laplace transform of cos 3t. Now, what will cos give to you normally? Cos is s over what? s squared minus 9. Remember, it's a minus because it's cos. Then we have 9 because 3 squared will give you what? 9. So this is our result if you find f of what? s. So finally, the Laplace transform, not really finally though, Laplace transform of t cos 3t is going to become minus d over ds of this result because our formula says minus d over ds of f of s. And f of s is what? The answer was s divided by s squared minus 9. So this is what we have. So right now, can we differentiate this? Yes, using the same quotient rule. So I'm going to say u is equal to s, v is equal to what? s squared minus 9. So that's your v. So right now, what is your u prime? It's going to be what? 1. Remember you are doing this with respect to s. Remember you are doing it with respect to s. Then v prime is going to be what? 2s. So that's what we have. So right now, let us now apply this. I'm going to write minus. So this is minus. This will be equal to minus, open bracket, 
when using quotient rule, your v is the first. So we're going to be having v, which is s squared minus 9, multiplying u prime, which is 1, minus, the next one is u, which is s, bracket v prime, which is 2s, divided by, what is going to be the denominator when you are using quotient rule? It's v squared. v squared is the denominator. So this is s squared minus 9, all squared. So that's all I have. Close the bracket. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is this. 1 times this will give me what? 1 times this is going to give me the same thing. So this is minus. 1 times s squared minus 9 is s squared minus 9. Minus s times 2s will give me what? Minus 2s squared. Then divided by what by the denominator? s squared minus 9 or squared. Then close the bracket. Right now, the next thing that will then happen is this is minus s squared minus 2s squared will give me what? Minus s squared. Then this minus 9 will still be remaining minus 9 divided by s squared minus 9 or squared. Okay, next thing I'll do is can I open these brackets with minus? So minus times minus here will give me what? To so give me s squared. Minus times this minus 9 will give me plus 9 divided by s squared minus 9 or squared. So this will be the final result for the Laplace transform of t cos 3t. Thank you very much for watching this very video.